So um, one th now one thing about Shiism, um, people don't really know much about Shiism. So if when people want to find out about Shiism, for example, if they Google Shiism, and I wasn't even aware of this because I never had to Google Shiism because I had lots of contacts and friends who were Shia Muslims. But if you are unlucky enough to Google Shiism, you will find lots of uh, gruesome, violent images of tatbir, which is people uh, self-mutilating themselves. Um, that actually isn't part of Shia Islam. Um, I believe, I've been told that um, the US, the UK and Israel is actually um, propagating this idea that uh, tatbir is part of Shia Islam, obviously to harm Islam and also to harm well, to harm Shia Islam first, but also to harm Islam full stop. Um, there are some people, as in any group, uh, there are always a couple of people who do something that is a bit uh, out of the ordinary, uh, that we would consider not normal, and that is completely unrepresentative. Um, I think someone, I don't know whether someone told me it's one in 10,000 or something like that. People actually do things like that, so that is definitely not part of Shia Islam. Um, to me, Shia Islam is, um, it is reason, it is logic, it is truth, it is love, it is devotion, it is peace, it is politics. So it encompasses your whole life. It um, strangely has answers for everything in your life if you bother to go looking, uh, looking for the answers and you have scholars you can maybe draw on to get some of the more difficult answers um, but no it's nothing to do with that so that is a political game that's being played to uh, said slander uh, uh, one particular group within Islam that is very peaceful and with that I'd, I'd actually also say that obviously Shia Islam the heart of Shia Islam is in Iran and Iran is uh, uh, one of the few countries that is actually not out there in the world bombing other countries to peace, um, to pieces rather. Um, so Iran does the very opposite. Iran helps, assists, aids, and tries to sort out the mess that the West is creating. But obviously, this is my opinion. I'm sitting in Iran, so I'm very happy to say this. Um, but no, Shia, you definitely need to go and look at other websites. So as I said, start with our, is look at Masaf Institute. And um, there, there's so much information out there. Um, but definitely the, for example, and there, there's another website that is part of the Masaf Institute. So there's masaf.ir, which is the Farsi language website. Um, which I'm aware of, but obviously my Farsi is not good enough. But I myself have used their more recently launched English language website called islampfr.com. So on that, you will find information about Shia Islam. You'll find videos by Raifi Poor. You'll find um, um, other videos. you find articles on the 12 Imams. I myself, I use the articles on the 12 Imams as a, just a bit of an introduction to the different Imams. Um, but there's everything there uh, also regarding hijab. Um, there's even music. So please have a look at that. That's one of your best starting points. If you know nothing or very little about Shia Islam, if you just want to know about Islam, full stop, true Islam, then go there. It's very safe and it's very beautiful. <laughs>